um, thug, you know, open they are about their their brazenness about their criming. Mm -hmm. But it's not just them. It's who they hang out with, too. Here is a post made about a friend named Natasha. Natasha is um, mentioned in this John Leone post. In it, John says, ladies and gentlemen, Natasha, he's talking about Natasha Bellissima, is one of the friends of supposedly, suppo- allegedly the friend of Paloma. Allegedly the friend of Paloma, Natasha Bellissima, is the wife of Jovi Val, Duke, mm. just so you know. Yeah. She is the woman whose face was switched out by Paloma and replaced with a gorilla. Okay, yeah. That's what friends do, apparently, in the world of Paloma. If you're a black woman, she will switch your face out with a gorilla Hmm. and send it to other people. So, in this post, John Leone is referring to that Natasha, the wife of Jovi Val saying that Natasha is a convicted felon, felon, robbery, and a psycho that put a GPS tracker on Jovi Val. At the same time, pimps him out just like Jean Nadim Faraon Padilla. That's Paloma's husband. Yeah. Has been backing up junkie prostitute Paloma with her long, long quotes since has no one to talk to mentally psychotic pimps, Jovi Val, two felon convicted in fraud checks, white supremacist and organizer of the Unite the Right to the Unite the Right to rally. I'm assuming Kat Snyder, who was doxxed by Antifa for many years, writing tones of messages around using fake names, Claudia Alicia marched for the Black Lives Matter, considers herself only part of black and calls herself Asian, Hmm. stalks and harasses people for Paloma. Have you noticed everyone near Paloma is a criminal? (coughs) So there's a lot to unpack there. Yeah. It talks about Jovi. It talks about his wife. It talks about a woman named Kat Snyder who apparently had something to do with organizing the Unite the Right, a Unite the Right rally. I am. Okay? Who, according to this post, is also a neo-Nazi. Are you following? Mm-hmm. Now, we knew Joe Vival was also accused of being a white supremacist neo-Nazi. Are you ready to go on the Jovi tour, Duke? Yes, I'm ready to go on the Jovi tour. Mm. Fasten your seatbelts. You're not in Kansas anymore. We are going on the Jovi tour. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. This is actually... (laughs) A bus in Mexico City. Yes. There is a Jovi tour in Mexico City. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for the Jovi tour? Mm Mm-hmm. Here we go. For those of you who don't know, we must understand who Jovi is. Jovi Val is a neo-Nazi who has had a role, very interesting, important, prominent role in the conservative mega movement. Mm. Sleeping with many women also possibly trying to get into the pants of and or was in the pants of Paloma. Who knows? That girl gets around. Point is, there are a lot of people that had questions about Joe Vival all the way to the end, not the least of which included his boorish behavior. In this video, you see... 
uh, him being accused of using the N word. And he actually, it's his voice saying the N word. Um, and they were calling for his GoFundMe or PayPal to be removed because he was an embarrassment to conservatives. Here's the video. He's videotaping some friend of his with women, showgirls, in what looks like Vegas. Did you hear that? Yeah. That's Jovi Val. Hmm. Married to a black woman, Jovi Val. White supremacist, neo Nazi, Hitler party, Jovi Val. Hmm. You remember? Yeah. Do you remember the pictures? Mm hmm. Okay. Same Jovi Val that. Keeps getting into altercations, as one does when you're trying to get in front of a camera all the time. And you're married to a black woman who's involved in the Black Lives Matter movement. Mm -hmm. Okay? Are you following along? Yeah. What? They're on both sides? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they're friends with Paloma? And they sleep around? Yeah. So, uh, you recall he got into an altercation where people attacked him for wearing his mega hat. Oh, yeah, yeah. He got cut up and he had a GoFraudMe. I mean, a GoFundMe. Here is his urgent care GoFraudMe for his injuries. What you don't know is that the money was being raised and collected by his wife. Oh. And the other thing you don't know is that a surgeon donated the whole thing. So they raised a lot of money. Yeah, 3705 of a $50,000 goal there. Mm. At the time. At the time, yeah. Point is... They were raising money for something that was a fraud. Check out on his Twitter, Jovi Fraud is called. Somebody created this parody huh. Twitter page about him getting beat up and collecting collecting money. Oh, yeah. It says Jovi Bow professional patriot uh -huh. steals from gullible Trump after hitting girl in bar. Oh. And if you go down in the comments in the tweets you have people that are calling him out for doing just that making money off trump supporters mm -hmm. urgent care for jovi val total bs doctors fixed him for free hmm. he's a fraud still collecting and there are more tweets after that yeah that call him out and you know people were mad because if you notice like there is a pattern to these frauds. They collect money off of people's sympathy for things that they believe in, like their party or their president mm -hmm. or their country or whatever, or animals. Look at how Paloma has been able to capitalize off of people's love of animals or love of Trump or love of country, etc. It's really sick. Yeah. It's sick that people like this capitalize off of that. But it's very clear that they do. And here is an article that shows that this surgery was free. Hmm. As you can see, the headline says that the plastic surgeon carried out a free surgery on the man that was attacked. Attack for wearing a mega hat. And if you scroll... 
it will say it is him, Jovi Val. Unless you think I'm making it up. His real name is Giovanni Valle. There's his name. Yep, right there. Mm -hmm. 26. Suffered a broken nose and laceration in his cheek, requiring 15 stitches after being hit mm -hmm. with a broken glass bottle over his head, July 7th. Mm -hmm. So, he totally had this taken care of and he was still raising money. Hmm. There is an element of that. They are a product. They are actors. And the people that were in their entourage are part of that. Uh, wittingly, maybe unwittingly. Although I think that a lot of them had uh, gone along and continue to go along with what these people have perpetrated on others. Like Krista Torres. But she, she had a personal relationship with Jovi Val in Colorado. And... After the show aired, when Alexa came mm -hmm. forward and talked about the police report she filed at that time, what happened in the cabin, how was the window broken, how yeah. was the damaged, mm -hmm. uh, the property damaged, mm -hmm. how did they almost lose their jobs and shut down a school? Yeah. And after the show, in which we exposed all of that Krista emailed me to tell me how much she regretted that Jovi Val's wife would ever find out yeah. about the affair this is what she said I never wanted her to find out to come out but life's a bitch right hope you sleep well said it like a ghost yeah would you sleep well she forgot the pee yeah oh you sleep well. <laughs> yeah just reading what's on the paper mm-hmm well it probably would have behooved you not to sleep with him if you didn't want her to find out about it plus like People were texting each other back and forth about how y'all were sleeping with each other. It was like obvious. And you know it was. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what you were doing was pretty obvious. And I'm sure Jovi Val's wife isn't that dumb. Like she's got to know it's going on. And she either don't care. Like Jean Nadim para un parilla. Or... They're taking a cut, you know. They're, yeah. they're, they're getting something off of it. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, who's okay with sharing their spouse? Yeah, exactly. Anywho, Paloma likes you to believe that she is an innocent victim of whatever is happening around her. She is always seeking the way of light and truth, but sometimes... People make her do bad things. Oh, yeah. For example, somebody out there was making her racist. Oh. You know the racist things that we showed that she oh, yeah. put out there <laughs> about her friend? Uh-huh. Well, she posted saying that someone tried to brainwash her for a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she wants you to believe that the brain she has at its capacity can be brainwashed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, also, she wants you to believe that her crappy behavior was the result <coughs> of possession. Oh. Why don't you just come out and say that you were dem demonically possessed instead of being like, someone brainwashed me. Mm -hmm. So she says here that someone brainwashed her getting her involved on the on someone on their racism but the truth prevailed about beautiful women of all colors it's as it will about me she's like oh 
No one will know that I'm a racist, even though I put that picture out there yeah. of my friend mm -hmm. with a chimpanzee face. Yeah. That's... That somebody else tried to make me racist. I didn't do that. Exactly. But you did, though. Nobody made you racist, Paloma. Mm -hmm. You already were racist. That picture of your friend, this is your friend, Natasha, in D.C. This is, no, Belisima. This is your friend Natasha Belisima in DC, correct? This is a picture from her social media site. Mm -hmm. You can see that at the top. Yep. The social media name. And she, it's very uh, washed out I see. In, the, in the image, but, you, but she's actually in front of the monument. The monument Washington in monument. the background. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the next image, you'll see that it's the same. Oh, my God. Pictures. Same picture with the Photoshop on top, which mm -hmm. Paloma is good at, as we established earlier. See, so if you go back, you can see how that was her in that picture. Yeah. That's Jovi Val's wife. Wow. And that was sent. By Paloma. Wow. Those pictures. Jeez. Turning her into a monkey. Mm -hmm. Nobody makes you do that. No. Nobody makes you do this. No one else can brainwash you into doing that. Yeah. Could I brainwash you into making a meme no. of a black person with a gorilla oh, face? Oh, that'd be horrible. No, you can't make me do that. And send it to someone? No, no. How do I do that? What brainwashing do I use? I mean, like, is there a potion, a drug? I don't know. Because she seems convinced that you can just brainwash someone mm -hmm. into making a horrible image like that. Yeah. How do you explain that? You can't. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Here is a post that she made trying to tell people... This is all recent, by the way. Oh, yeah. This, all, the, all this bat poop crazy that was recently posted on her page, this came, like, very, very recently. Even within the days that we've been back, I think. Okay. Real recent. Yeah. She says, last, last year, after spending some time on the phone with a crazy feeding me all kinds of lies she had me believing once again someone else someone brainwashed else influenced her. her yes this person had her believing that there was a sugar mama who purchased the services of younger men who was dirty and even had the consent from the wives of these men and had an std huh. actually believed this crazy because she was so convincing. So once again, she's she's talking about a woman who she claims was a sugar mama to some men. Obviously, the man was married because the man had the consent from the wife. Yeah. Right? Right. And this so-called person was brainwashing her hmm. into believing all these horrible things about this woman. Well, it was Paloma who sent messages about Natasha Bellissima being okay with her husband having sharing her husband with this woman, this sugar mama that's being referred to, who I believe is actually uh, a woman we're going to talk about here. It says married, shared.
And there's this po this message from Paloma. She says, no girl, they are married. She's referring to Natasha and Jovi. And she allows this to happen for money. Hmm. They have an agreement. He can get money from women. Come on, it's obvious. She pimps him out. And the other person responds, true, it's an agreement even... He even told me it's a business marriage. Hmm. So, Paloma is talking about how Jovi has some kind of arrangement. And in this one, in this message, Paloma messages the picture of the woman in question and calls her a skank. And she's next to Natasha, Jovi's wife, in this picture. Huh. She says, apparently these two skanks agree on sharing that POS. Wow. And the POS they're referring to is Jovi Val. Wow. That's who they're referring to. Mm -hmm. And that woman is Kat Snyder. And she also is a white supremacist. She was doxxed by Antifa, actually. Here mm -hmm. is Jovi Val and Bellissima. Natasha Bellissima and this Kat Snyder woman all being discussed by Anti-Fash anti Gordon hmm. on Twitter saying that Jovi Val is circled by a crowd of Nazis that can't even raise money for hurricane relief without involving a couple of Nazis like Unite the Right to co-organizer Kat Snyder. This is the woman who Joe Vival is thanking. He says, I hope we can all chip in whatever we can help to, f to help them down in the Carolinas. Kat Snyder, along with many others, are on the front lines of the storm and refuse to leave the area until they help who they can along with their pets. She's done so much for me and my friends, and I think it's time to return the favor. Hmm. That is Kat Snyder. And there are many other uh, messages in which Jovi Val thanks her for uh, getting him to different locations. So this is a woman that's been paying for his transport, for his um, housing in places where he goes. So that sugar mama referred to by Paloma mm -hmm. that she thought maybe, maybe had STDs and was funding Jovi Val. Uh, is this woman. <coughs> hmm. And the one making the accusations was Paloma. Yeah. It wasn't nobody washing your brains. Hmm. Your brains haven't been washed. Come on. No tengas pendeja. Yeah. 